Is there any ICT concept that will make you instantly profitable? No, but there are one ICT concept that will help you a lot in trading. It's called a draw on liquidity. And I've talked about it a lot on my channel, but it's just so important to have a draw on liquidity because then you know where price is going. If you don't have a draw on liquidity, you're just trading a 50-50 situation. And we don't really want that, do we? We want to have the percentages on our side because that will help us improve our trading. So first of all, we're going to talk about what a draw on liquidity is. A draw on liquidity is where we think price is most likely to draw towards. So let's just say I think price were to draw towards this low because I was bearish on the higher time frame. Then this would be my draw on liquidity. We can also use PD arrays as a draw on liquidity. And we mostly use PD arrays as a draw on liquidity when it's within a discount. So for this example, we see that we have this busy right here that's within a discount or more specifically within a OTE. So in that case, we see price retraces into this zip, or sorry, busy, which is our draw on liquidity and then takes out into range liquidity. There are some areas where price is most likely to draw towards and those are called strong draw on liquidity. And we often find them at low resistance liquidity and also at equal highs. And low resistance liquidity work in that way when we're on the sell side of the curve, or in this case, you can see we have drawn out this kind of trend line. So when we're on the sell side of the curve, this is high resistance liquidity, but when we touch the smart market reversal, price has gathered a lot of highs up here, which now is low resistance liquidity. So when we're on the buy side of the curve, price is going to cut through these highs with ease. So in that case, it becomes low resistance liquidity run. And over here, we have equal highs and retail traders see this as resistance. So whenever price touches these equal highs, they think price is going to go lower. But in this case, this is going to be a strong draw on liquidity as there are going to be many sell stops above these highs. So in that case, smart money concepts maybe returns into a further gap, then bounce off that and takes out the equal highs. Now let's just go back to our first example again right here. And then what do we see here on the first example? We see that price retraced down into a busy which was within a OTE so in that case this could be our short term draw on liquidity so then price touches this liquidity and we also see we have a kind of AMD model from this low up to this high we see the price we see the price accumulated then manipulated lower touching a draw on liquidity that was within a OTE then after that expanded higher and what do we have up here we have relative equal highs <clears throat> and this was our initial draw on liquidity so we see price manipulated lower touching a busy which was with an ot and then took our draw on liquidity here for our next example we see the price created low resistance liquidity which is these triple highs up here as you see we can draw out a trend line off of this so that means retail traders see this as resistance so in that case smart money concepts is going to target these so this is going to be low resistance liquidity so in that case we can anticipate price manipulating lower into an area where a reversal is anticipated. So that could potentially be something like this, this inversion value gap down here, which price came down and touched at 830. And then of course the newest drivers takes out the low resistance liquidity as we see up here. And then we also created data lows at 830, which is also a strong draw on liquidity down here. And what do we also see over here see we have this kind of low resistance liquidity up here or down here so in that case we have two drawn liquidities so we see price retest this area up here it accumulates through it then we can see manipulates above it and then takes out the low resistance liquidity and also took out the data lows before that here for our next example we see that we have low resistance liquidity up here so that means retail traders see this as resistance so when price touches this trend line, retail traders think that price is going to go lower. But as a smart money traders, we can anticipate that price is most likely to draw towards these low resistance liquidity. So in that case, we would want to look for a reversal area. And what do we have right here? We have sell side liquidity, which price, price can most likely target and then make a reversal. And what do we also have? We have this inversion further gap set up right here which we see price makes a close above, then a retracement and reacts off the consequent encouragement. So in that case, we could take a potential trade entry off of this, put our stop loss at the low, and then of course target the low resistance liquidity. And as we see, price makes the smart money reversal, goes over to the buy side of the curve and takes out the low resistance liquidity. 
when prices are on the buy side of the curve, we could anticipate every low to be high resistance liquidity and every high to be low resistance liquidity. And one of the reasons is because every low we usually create is going to be an intermediate term low. So for this case, this is an intermediate term low, which price shouldn't touch until we make a reversal. And that we also see with a lot of these lows right here. Another example on how equal highs could look like is these highs up here. This is relative equal highs, meaning that the highs are almost identical. So that is also a strong drawn liquidity. So that is where our initial drawn liquidity is. So in that case, we can start looking for a trade entry. And what do we have right here? We have this inversion failure gap, which gets closed above. So in that case, you could, could take a trade entry at the close if you wanted to. Put your stop loss at the low and then target the relative equal highs all the way up here. And we'll see price at 9.30 comes up and takes out the relative equal highs. Something that we have to look out for is when price creates SMTs. So right here we see that we have these relative equal lows. And this would be a strong draw liquidity, right? No, because we have created a SMT. So in that case, price is most likely not to target these equal lows and more likely to move higher, take another, another drawn liquidity that is higher. Another way you can use a model with a drawn liquidity is, for example, this AMD model. So we see prices accumulating. Then we have these equal or relative equal lows down here. So in that case, we could anticipate manipulation to the upside because we want to see distribution taking out the equal lows. So in that case, <clears throat> we get manipulation to the upside, both taking out the high of the accumulation and also taking out buy side liquidity. So in that case, we could anticipate distribution lower, taking out the other side of the accumulation and also taking out the strong drawn liquidity, which in this case is these relative equal lows down here.